Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. Dark Night of the Soul. Have you heard this phrase? Sounds pretty intense because it is. It is a spiritual starvation where you feel like you've lost your purpose, you have no hope, there's situational sadness and depression, and and you're wandering around in the dark, as it implies, and you can't find your way out. So let me ask you, how solvable does that sound? I had somebody reach out to me uh, just the other day wanting to work with me. And when, when I said, okay, what is it you wanted to talk about? They said, well, here's my symptoms. And I've been told it's a dark night of the soul. And I went, yeah, it could fit into that. It could also fit into what's known as the hero's journey where there are 12 stages and you are giving the symptoms of these different stages as you go through them. And so when we go on a journey and we're not always equipped, we don't have the tools that we need to get to the next station. In fact, hero, uh, the journey of the hero talks about having a mentor or several mentors that you utilize on the journey. Now, which one sounds like you can actually do something about? Dark Night of the Soul or The Hero's Journey? Mm -hmm. See, the subconscious takes everything literally. You have 40 to 60,000 thoughts every single day. Take out eight hours of sleep. That basically gives you one thought every single second. And over 80% of those are going to be the thoughts that you've been thinking for quite some time. So the subconscious says, which ones do you want to pay attention to? And it's going to be the ones that you verbalize. So when you describe something in a way that is unsolvable, that alleviates the subconscious and the RAS, the reticular activating system, from scanning your environment to to find any solutions. The only reason why this person reached out to me was because someone else in their environment was going, you need assistance, and this is who I recommend that, that you call. So we have to begin to break it down into pieces that you can actually picture the tools that are needed for that part of the journey and then begin to utilize them. Let me give you another example. I had a client say that they were having a problem in their relationship and um, I describe relationships whether it's somebody close or somebody that uh, we're in a transaction with, uh, like buckets, and you pour into each other's buckets. And this person feel like, felt like they were always pouring into someone else, but they were never receiving. I said, okay, what do you want to receive? Mm, I don't know. Okay, does that sound solvable? Mm-mm. No. So having to break it down, to the smallest steps as far as rapport and then after that shared values and then after that trust. Mm -hmm. So make sure that whenever you're sharing with others what it is that you're going through, that you're not setting yourself up for continued failure because you're describing it in such a way where there is no success system to be able to get the answers that you're looking for.